Hello, and welcome back to even more fishing with Bobson. <laughs> uh, here we are on picturesque Dark Moon Isle with the Dark Moon Fair because it is September 6th, and I'm here just getting some quests done simply because, yeah, I always like to get these quests done. At least, at least the main ones, the ones that are only monthly simply because they give you five points of skill which is very nice when you're first starting out with a new skill or you're still trying to level up your skills it's fairly nice plus it gives you 15k experience Ooh, what is that uh bloated shark some gold and some more fish haha <laughs> so yeah um i always try and do this whenever i'm trying to level up skills simply because it gives you those five points of skill five skill points because this one's going to give me five fishing, which is so friggin' nice. Because otherwise, you're just going to have to sit there and fish endlessly. Reading. So, yeah. Let's uh, get the rest of these done. Because I want to get back to doing stuff in uh, uh, Broken Isles. But I just wanted to come over here and see. Since it, it's a new expansion. And I was kind of hoping that there'd be some new stuff here. Unfortunately, it does not look like it. In fact, it doesn't look like there's been any updates or changes since Warlords of Dran or even Pandera. I mean, a lot of it was... I mean, this entire island was added in, what, Cataclysm? So, it hasn't really been much updated since then, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, Nothing new yeah. added, really. So, now. yeah. Uh, but I am getting a lot of tickets. I slowly build up tickets over time. In fact, I could probably buy something. Uh... Did I already get both mounts here? I think so. I think I already have both of the mounts, the bear mount and the other one. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, I got the bear mount and the frost rider. I don't really care about the pets because I don't do a lot of the pet collecting. I don't really care about the pet collecting. Ooh. Ooh, but I can grab this, which will give me another quest. Can I help you? In fact, I'll be able to do it at the same time. As I'm just running around killing stuff, which is very nice. Ha! Ah. So let's turn this fishing quest in. I will use up these uh, fried frogs. Here we go, and then we can get back to questing over in the Broken Isles. Maybe head back to Azuna. Uh, there we go. Uh, just need to get this last one, which is the fishing uh, first aid one. Should be over here. Uh, I wonder, because before it was changed over to this, there was actually a quest thing. Well, not really a quest, so much as something you could trigger no with, uh, what was it, honor. Dark Iron Ale or something like that? You could bring Dark Iron Ale to Mora yeah, well. and drop one on the ground, and it would summon her little pet frog guy. Uh, what was his name? Jub Jub? And it would basically allow you to buy a jubbling from her and get a little frog pet thing. Huh. I wonder if that's still in the game or if they changed it because you talk to her and it doesn't actually... Pet jubbling, she loves dark iron ale, that's what it is. Huh. I guess it's still there. But yeah, if you go to Black Rock Depths, to the bar in Black Rock Depths and get the dark iron ale that's in on the bar there or being sold by What's-His-Face, the bartender... Then you can bring it here during the the uh, Dark Moon Fair and actually just drop it on the ground. It'll summon her little toad guy, and then she'll sell you a jubbling egg. And you'll be able to have a frog pet. Huh. And it, it is nice that they left that in. I haven't really paid attention to that kind of stuff in years. I mean, I haven't really paid attention to it since I got my jubbling. So, yeah. Um, is it everything? I think so. But it's sad that they didn't really add anything new. To the Dark Mood Fair. Oh, okay. Let's head back to her, uh, Dalaran. See what we can do. Uh, do I actually have any, are any of my uh, things done yet? Cause I did go through it and finished up the mission I had set up before. I think the one I set up now has like eight hours left, or something. Uh, ooh, thirty minutes on that. And the squires. Oh, I can just leave the squires for now. But yeah, uh, okay. Anything else I need to do before I go? No, I don't think so. Okay, let's get back to questing out there in the wilderness of Az Az uh, Suna, Azuna. Greetings. Is it Azuna? Azuna? I'm not really sure. 
Uh, let's see. The question is, what is it I need to do? Where do I need to go? So if I come right here... Uh... Ooh, I got a quest here. Escort Prince Ferrandus. Um, okay, do I want to go back to where that Tusker guy was? Or do I want to go back here? I think I want to go back here. Okay, let's go back there. I am honored. And escort what's-his-face. Escort the prince and see what happens then. Huh. So yeah, uh, I was kind of hoping they would add some new stuff to the Dark Moon Fair. I mean, they it's been pretty much the same thing over and over for the past like few years ever since Cataclysm. And they have all those huge tents that they could expand new stuff into, but they just haven't really done it. I mean, there's like three big tents right there that they just haven't really used for anything, really. So, yeah. I, I've, been, I've just been hoping they'd be adding something new, like maybe some new pets, maybe some new uh, cosmetic stuff, or even just something new to do with, uh, like, like the races they did. They actually did add races to race around the island on random mounts and stuff like that, as well as the one where you get those wings and you fly up in the air and you have to fly through the rings with those uh, magic wings on. So, yeah, they did add stuff. I think that was in, what, Warlords of Draenor? Was that in Warlords of Draenor or in Pandera? I don't remember. But I think that was the last thing they really added. Uh, maybe they will add something in a later update. They just didn't want to add it right now during the initial release of uh, this just to minimize any uh, kind of conflicts. Because the more they add, the more they change, uh, the more chance there is for something to go horribly, horribly wrong with it. Uh. So yeah, well, I'm just, maybe they will add something in the future update. Maybe not. I'm not really sure, but I am hopeful. Hopeful. Huh. That's my tagline for this entire expansion. Hopeful. <laughs> because I am I liking it. My people. So far, I am liking this. Uh, okay. I am taking my leave, Night Watchers. Though I doubt you will miss me. Okay. Stay close. Do not leave my side. So, here we have it, an escort mission. Uh, the least favorite hmm. things you have in this game. Road, escort missions. I must have the groundskeepers oh. attend to it. <laughs> what you could do? Did he just teleport across the water? Because he didn't want to get his ghostly pants wet. What the hell? You You're a ghost man. You have some nerve showing your face around here. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, yes. I'm sorry. Uh... Okay. So what did he do? I wasn't really paying attention to any of the quests, so I wasn't... I have no idea what he did. Honestly. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, but yeah. <laughs> uh, escort quests. <laughs> One of the things that have always been kind of annoying in this game... I remember one escort quest that was particularly did this to us, bad. Orlandus. Well, it wasn't really bad. It was just I annoying to get done. What I thought was right. With uh, it was in Hill uh, Red Ridge. It was in Red Ridge, and if you ever did the quest, you know which one I'm talking about. It's the one that's in that friggin' cave up in the middle of a bunch of orcs, and basically. Where are you? What do you mean? Where am I? I was fighting those stupid little murlocs. You're the one who ran off like an idiot. Huh. Wait a minute. Is he bringing me to the quest guy? Stay with me. What the hell, man? Belger. Hero, where are you going? I'm not going anywhere. What the Ah, annoying. Hold right there. We will not we let are you cursed to spend eternity again. as okay. after what happened last Defeat Athesia. I beg your forgiveness. Okay, where Elders. is she? Aha! You I knew it. Last time I was here, I knew I would have to come back here and fight her. <laughs> I knew it. I knew I would have to come. Wow! Overlapping voice acting. What the hell? Will you shut up, please? You're just talking over each other right now. And it's just annoying. Ah. Okay. Uh, you do know I'm trying to kill you, right? <laughs> oh, come on. Bubble me. Stop bubbling me, you weird lady. Uh. 
how did how did the night elves, the highborn, whatever, turn into these guys? I've never been too clear on that. But that's that is the story. These were once. Holy crap! I'm gonna die. Uh. Okay. Uh. But yeah, I've never been too clear on how exactly they transformed into this. I mean, magic explains a lot of things, sure, if you just want to be lazy. But how did they turn into these mer people? How did her hair transform into these tentacle things? What the hell? How does it? Hair doesn't work like that. It's not a musculature. It's just uh, dead tissue sticking out of your head and or body. How does it turn into freaking wiggly uh, tentacle things coming out of your head? Ugh. I mean, the tail I can understand. The lower portion of the body kind of melding into a singular uh, appendage. That's actually plausible. I mean, that stuff happens. That's how the dolphins and whales and stuff happened. Their lower area kind of just became that. I'm not sure how that actually happened in evolution, but that's the basic idea of it. Uh, mammalian creatures like that just going back into the water and eventually evolving into a more fish-like shape Failure. with stuff like seals. Oh. Murderous. Uh, Fool. So Stop. Stop the voices, I beg you. What the hell? So they're just sitting there, calling him names. Uh, that's actually kind of funny, since he's supposed to be like this prince guy. Uh, okay, uh, let's go for this, I guess, since it's actually better than what I have. Upgrade? No. Escort Prince Fern around the edge of the Nether Hills. Don't blindly hills. trust in anyone, especially uh, your this leaders. One? There we go. Where it lies... Uh... It is through you that I will come with me. That's the plan, man. To come with you as you go through this. Oh. I knew there would be a quest that would send me here. Just going out and exploring. I mean, it wasn't too bad. All it was is, uh... I did manage to get the, uh... Blacksmithing or mining or whatever it was quest that was here. And I did get all the other quests that was around here. So, uh... It wasn't all bad. Just, uh bit annoying that I could have just done all of it at once. Though, at least I didn't have to fight my way through a bunch of stuff to get to the one quest thing I needed to do. But where the hell did he go? Where the hell did he go? Uh, hello? Hello? What the fu- Why is there a murloc? Why are the ghosts and the murlocs working together? Uh... Salty Shore Sprinter, what the hell? Uh, where the hell were you, man? Why didn't you throw those fireballs when we first got out here? But no. You just had to... Is he going to get attacked by the Murlocs? No. No, but at least... What the hell? Quit running away, you cowardly bastard. Where are you? What do you mean, where am I? I'm right here. You're the one who's running back like a moron. What the hell? I mean, you're a freaking ghost. I understand. You're a bit confused. That's the whole point of being a ghost. That's why you're a ghost. I mean, ghost life must be fairly traumatic. I mean, just look at Uther, trapped in his tomb, waiting for random idiots to come talk to him. You guys, freaking... What? Freaking elves. That teleport all over where the place. Are you? Why do you stop asking me that? I'm right here. I am in line of sight of you. Here, I can see you right now. What the hell? Ah, this I really fell off the happens. bridge. <laughs> oh, I don't like this guy. He's annoying. I can see why no one else likes him either. I can see why other people call him names. Well, other ghosts call him names. Oh. May the power of good luck on your quest for the Tidestone hero. You're not coming in there with me. I not enter that academy. But I swear I will aid you in whatever way I can. Um, if you're not going to come Until in there with me... Again. I mean, are you that afraid of people calling you names? I mean, you are annoying. You are fairly annoying. And I can see why everyone's calling you an idiot monster. Simply because you're an annoying ass. But still, you could come in here and give me a friggin' hand, man. Ugh, okay. Where do I need to go? I need to go up. Up, oh, up or down? Up or down? We chose down. 
down. Oh. Yes. Hopefully it was the right choice. Looks like it's the right choice. I think it's the right choice. There's a quest turn in here. So hopefully it is right. And apparently this is also an inn that I can rest at. How very odd. New student, blah blah blah, obtain an ethereal academy hat, robes, and wand, and spillbook. What? I don't want to wear robes. Destroy three ancient tomes. Okay. So... Am I literally... Spellbook? Okay. Am I really gonna have to kill him all the way? So I'm just taking all this stuff that's been sitting on the ground for who knows how many centuries or millennia. What? I don't know. So yeah, all this stuff been sitting on the ground for millennia. I mean, 10,000 years. That's how long it's been since the first war. And uh, legitimately, probably how long it's been since all this stuff was actually left behind. And it's amazing how it is in still working condition. It's actually still good condition. You wouldn't think that a cloth hat would be in good condition after, ooh, a chest, after 10,000 years of just sitting. I mean, look at this. This place is filled with water. There's water just pouring down inside. The humidity must be off the charts, or at the very least enough for mold and mildew to set in. But yeah. Wait a minute. Am I, am I really going to take the robes off this poor sleeping ghost? Yes. I just stole the robes. Does that mean they're ghostly robes? I mean, they're not even real robes, they're ethereal robes. I mean, that's going to be a bit odd. How am I supposed to wear ghost robes? I mean, seriously, how do you wear ghost robes? I mean, these guys are doing it, but they're ghosts. That's understandable. Me? I'm not a ghost. Wouldn't it just kind of pass through me? I mean, that's the whole thing about ghosts. They can just pass through solid objects. You wouldn't really think putting on a pair of robes, uh, ghostly robes at that, Ah, here we go. Come here, you. Uh, Academy hat. Didn't I just get a hat? Didn't I already get the hat? Uh, oh. What? Uh, why is my, uh, where's my sword? Where's my sword? No, really, what, what, where's my sword? Uh, why can't, why, where the hell's my sword? I don't know. Uh, who? Okay, where's that last book? Uh, there should be one more book somewhere. Just have to wait for it to respawn, I guess. So, yeah, didn't I already pick up the hat? Could have sworn I picked up the hat already. Uh, why am I wearing a robe? Why? Ah, uh, it is just the appearance of a robe. Looks like it, because I'm still wearing my main plate armor. So I guess I've just draped it on top of me. Draped it over me. Oh, you. How long has this guy been wearing this robe is my question. I mean, he was just kind of sleeping there, and I just stole it from him. So, yeah, it's entirely possible that he's been wearing this robe nonstop for 10,000 years. I mean... Do ghosts need to bathe? I mean, ooh, kitty cat. Hello, kitty. Ah, Mr. Norse. Little ghost kitty cat. But yeah, do ghosts actually need to bathe? Uh, where's the hat? Apparently the hat's right here. Or, where's the hat? What? I could have sworn I had the hat already. Where did it go? Um, huh? I'm confused. Where did the hat go? <gasps> Apparently, I missed the hat. So what do I do? Oh, here it is. Give me the hat! What does stop that? What am I supposed to do here? Um, so the ghost keeps stealing the hat. Ah, here we go. Grab it before... Haha. <laughs> Okay, so they stole the hat before I had a chance to grab it. Okay, that explains it. I was, I was getting confused right there. I was definitely getting confused. 
And it did not really make sense. Good luck, friend. There we go. And the boom. New gloves. Very nice. Uh Do I really have to wear this stuff? Apparently not. Okay, west wing. West. No, we have to go west. This way? I think so. Aha! There we go. Ooh, I'm a ghost. I'm a ghost. I'm a ghostly flube. Ugh. Wait a minute. Am I actually a ghost? Am I actually a ghost? Have I been a ghost this entire time? There's purple over here. But it's not a chest. Damn you! Damn you for being purple. In a non-purple zone. You shouldn't be purple. That's the color of chests and awesome what stuff. But instead... Now... Uh, use your wand, ten, wand, ten targets. A shot fell out. Okay. Use that. Oh, I got a thing. Did not even realize it. Okay. So, ten targets. There we go. Uh. Oh, okay. It disappears after one. So I just need to be close enough. Not too bad. Fairly simple, fairly straightforward. Oh. But wands. It's sad that they made wands so worthless now. I mean, I remember back in, like, vanilla, where wands were actually useful. And every class had an offhand slot, like a range slot thing. I mean, and paladins had it, but they didn't really have any use for it. Same with, uh... Who was it? Who was it that didn't have a use for it? It was Librums and... Oh... Totems, or something. It was shamans and paladins that had a range slot but did not have anything useful because uh, all the casters had wands, all the uh, 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 melee classes like rogues and warriors could use like uh, thrown weapons and ranged weapons like bows and stuff. But paladins didn't have that, so they were kind of at a disadvantage along with druids and shamans. I think it was shamans. Was it shamans? That couldn't use a ranged weapon either. But yeah, we're at a distinct disadvantage for the simple fact that those ranged weapons did give you a bit of extra... Oh, what am I supposed to be, even supposed to be doing? Ah, here we go. It did give you a distinct disadvantage because they did add some stats to your overall, like stamina or agility and strength and all that kind of stuff. So it did actually give you a little bit of a boost. So being a paladin, you were slightly at a disadvantage because of it. And they did eventually add Librams, which, whoa, holy crap, look at this. It's such an odd filter. Huh, I like this. This It's kind of like one of those, uh, it, it looks like parchment picture. Like a picture on a parchment. How very odd. I've never seen them do this before. And it's just a friggin' kobold with a skull. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, it's just a weird looking kobold. That's all it is. That's kind of funny. Oh, phew. Okay. But yeah, what was I saying? Ah, here we go. So talk to him? No. And this book. Okay. But yeah, uh, the, pal the the classes that had the range slot but did not have actual ranged weapons eventually did get the Librams and Marks and things that they could put into that slot that basically did not give them any ranged abilities, but it did give them basic stats, like Paladins got stuff that would give them extra strength or stamina or slight enhancement to other stuff, whereas Rogues and warriors, even though they never used it, could put a gun or a bow in their range slot just for the stats, and that was fairly nice. And it was the same thing for all the casters, they could do that as well. Not only that, in vanilla, when mana was actually a real concern, you could have, like, a paladin toss up a, uh, what was it, the seal of... I don't even remember the name of it. The seal of light? Seal of... With Seal of Wisdom, I think that's Seal of Wisdom. 
Is that what's that? Was that the name of the seal of wisdom? It's been so long since it's been in the game. I simply cannot remember. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. But it was one of the seals that basically every time you dealt damage to the enemy, it would give you a little bit of mana back. And paladins would do that. They would toss it up on a boss. All the casters would just that were low on mana would just start wanding the boss to get back a little bit of mana to get back some regeneration there. And it was fairly interesting mechanic that was kind of taken away once the uh, fact that mana is no longer really an issue, unless you're going really heavily on spells. But yeah, th that was fairly nice because it meant even if you were out of mana, you could still deal a fair amount of damage. Even if you were completely out of mana, as a caster, you could still use your wand and just blast away a little bit. I mean, it was a great amount of damage, but it was okay. It was better than just meleeing, mainly because the wands usually had a higher damage than your melee weapon did, but still. Um, but yeah, th I, this is an odd filter. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like it. It's neat. It's a nice change of pace than just fighting ghost dragons. Fighting ghost dragons as if you were on the page of a book is kind of nice, I have to admit. I like this. It's a nice little tweak they've added here. Huh. Aww! There, for half a second he was lootable. But now I lost the chance to. Oh ah, well. I wonder if I could have gotten anything interesting off of him. Uh, Good luck, friend. Help. Too late now. Let's talk to her. I'm not even sure what I'm doing here or why I'm doing it. Is this part of the main quest? Am I just kind of, uh... Um... What am I supposed to do? Talk to her again? No? Uh... Uh... Ah! So I just have to... run around in the circle... There we go. Does that work? Aha! That's what I needed to do. Just run around in the circle. Holy crap. So, I have to run in a big circle. Get the... F I don't... This is a different mechanic. You don't really see this a lot. I mean, I have seen this before in another quest. I don't remember which one or where it was. But it was similar to this. Uh... It wasn't this exactly. Uh, did I miss something? Yep, right there. Uh, so you just have to trace the line all the way. There we go. Ooh. We just have to repeat the patterns in each circle. Huh. Now this is different. It's, it's a nice change from the standard kill ten guys, fight three guys, go pick up this random item on the ground type quests that you usually get in this stuff. So I, I any kind of deviation, any kind of alteration from the standard quest is fairly nice to see. Even when it's something as simple as this. It's just fairly nice. Just any type of different stuff is always nice and welcome. Oh. But yeah, that was nice. I like that. I like that. I like it. I like what it. Okay. Obtain the Tidestone Vault Key from Azura the Academy Headmistress. Okie dokie. So, let me guess. I'm just going to talk to her. She's going to give me the key and everything's going to be fine. Right? Right. Greetings. I'm assuming that. What? You are aware the Tidestone Gem is under quarantine has been since the Dairy Prince. Correct. Well, the instruction means that yes. Where that infringement upon said quarantine occurs point of view as death or even detention. <laughs> death or detention, which is worth? Go in peace. Okay. Uh Well, looks like we're gonna have to double kill her. Because she's already a ghost. So killing her again is just uh something we're gonna have to do, I guess. We, she's already dead, so how do you kill something that's already dead? That's the question that is fairly odd to ask. I mean, she is dead. She's a ghost. I think she's a ghost. These guys are ghosts, right? They're not. They're just spirits. I mean, yeah, they are ghosts. They're undead. 
Yep, they're undead. So technically, how do you kill a ghost? Is it possible to kill a ghost? No, seriously, I'm, I'm actually asking that. Is it possible to kill a ghost in World of Warcraft, like, permanently? According to the lore. Because apparently whenever people die, they just turn into ghosts. No matter what happens, they're always just ghosts. And they haunt the world until people come around and talk to them. And then you either send them on their way to whatever afterlife there is in the lore of this game, or nothing happens and they just stick around waiting for the next uh, adventure to come along and do the exact same quest you just did. <laughs> Which is usually what happens. They basically stand there in a state of perpetual boredom, waiting for adventurers to come talk to them again and again. Giving out the same quests, completing the same quests, over and over again, for all eternity. Such a bland, such a sad life they must live. Or a sad death, actually. Considering. Oh, 